Imperial citizens, the Orc menace has ravaged your planet and your empire has abandoned you. The Tau, however, care for your well-being. We wish to share with you the greater good. We will protect you from the ravages of the galaxy. We are your saviors. Welcome fans to this episode of 40k in 40 minutes. I'm your host JT McDowell and today we bring you another returning favorite, Matthew Beavis and his amazingly converted Grot Guard. This battle is brought to you by Frontline Gaming. FrontlineGaming.org is your go-to for all things Warhammer, especially these amazing maps and terrain sets. With new size mats in stock, as well as their ITC terrain series, they have everything you need as a tournament organizer to get started or to build your own home table of your dreams. Check them out at FrontlineGaming.org and tell them Poyon sent you. What can we say about this labor of love of an army? Every model lovingly converted and painted in a distinct and eye-catching style. I am absolutely in love with it. Hi, my name is Matthew Beavis. I am here returning with my Grot Guard. Very excited to be here. He's brought Yarek. That's right, Grot Commissar Yarek, a company commander and a tank commander to lead his three infantry squads. His amazing Trollgren Bulgren, armored sentinel Snotcoptas, a beautiful Basilisk, and three Lehman Russ battle tanks. For that elite core feel, he also has a Scion Patrol with a Tempester Prime and a command squad. His opponent today is our own Tau Nick, bringing, yes, you guessed it, Tau. What would you expect from our resident railgun enthusiast? Hi, I'm Nicholas, and I'm back to play my Tau on Play on Tabletop. He's brought three hammerheads, including long strike, broadsides with railguns, or rail sides as they're called, a fusion commander and missile commander, as well as a quartet of crisis suits, breachers, pathfinders, and strike teams, as well as a devilfish for them, and he has piranhas. I haven't seen those on the table in three editions. I have always loved facing guard. It just feels like World War II tactics against modern military tactics. It just feels like a real world battle. It's gonna be a really close and equal match, I think. Our mission today is sweeping clear from the GT 2020 handbook. Five objectives are placed on the table, and in this mission, if you control an objective marker at the end of your command phase, it remains under your control unless your opponent controls it at the end of any subsequent phase, even if you have no models within range of it. Each objective is worth a score of five victory points if you control one of them, five more if you control two, and five more if you control more objectives in your opponent to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 for the game. For secondaries, both players have chosen Bring It Down, as there is a lot of armored vehicles on this table. Both players have also chosen the mission-specific Direct Assault, scoring three victory points if they control either the objective marker in the center of the battlefield or the objective marker in their opponent's deployment zone at the end of their turn five victory points if they manage to control both. Matthew has also taken Domination. Looking to hold more than half of the objectives on the table, should he do so, he will score three victory points at the end of his turn, whereas Nick has taken Engage on all fronts, scoring points for being in at least three table quarters at the end of his turn. Looks like Nick's got Defender here, so he's going to be pulling the first unit, and he's dropping his Devilfish out front. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that carries his Breachers inside it. Back and forth now, and it really looks like both players are taking advantage of what each of their armies does well. Deploying inside the building is a great way to hide those Trollgrin slash Bulgrin. and it looks like a pretty typical guard deployment. He's castled up. A castle deployment is where you typically keep all of your stuff close together with some units in front of screen and all of your auras overlapping. This is a typical guard type deployment. And when you're stuck in a corner in this spearhead style of deployment, rather than spread wide across the bottom or across the short edge of the table, it makes a lot of sense to deploy that way. All in all, what I would call a fairly typical deployment from these two players but it's gonna come down to weight of dice, target priority, and let's face it, who gets that all important first turn? 
Speaking of, let's see the roll to go first. Looks like it's going to be Matthew. Here we go, folks. Strap in. It's going to be a good one. Right, before you go, yep, before I... Um, I do have a scout move with my scouts, yes. with my Pathfinders. They get to move a full seven inches. Pathfinders down. All right, do your worst, sir. Ticking up to 10 command points, Matthew's moved up and taken some objectives here, and he's trying to get some juicy, juicy targets for all those guns. <laughs> this infantry squad on the right with the autocannon is advancing. We'll go nine inches. Uh, the priest will also advance. They will advance. <clears throat> the Laz cannon equipped Infantry squad on the left flank. That's good, I don't need a move, move, move. Advance to claim that objective. This uh, autocannon equipped infantry squad will move across and up a floor because they were on the ground. Floor. Makes sense. Okay, uh, 10 inch move for the armored sentinels. Cross. And we're on to the end of movement phase. Excellent. He's decided not to reveal the relic of Cadia, the vengeance for Cadia here. I I'm not sure that's a good call. Doing damage early against Nick and punishing the tower as much as possible is always good, as a counter strike could leave him with less guns to shoot and then make that relic, by extension, less effective. The broadside, okay. Oh, and he loses the wound. Three to wound, six saves at minus three. At minus three, oh boy, six of them. Broadside being targeted here. Nick not taking wounds on those drones. I know he wants those marker drones, but I'm not sure if that's the best call. The shield's gonna activate, and four ups and robots! Ha! Take three, he's dead. <laughs> oh, it goes down. Oh, no. Boom! Ah! All right, yet. so got off a good start. Kill the broadside. Is he counted as a unit? I continue shooting with the heavy bolters. Uh, that, th have to this is one unit. one unit. One unit of broadsides. Okay, so the heavy bolters continue shooting. You bet they can. Four plus. That's what, three up. Same both. And one CP to do an additional order. So the tank commander is now going to do another order. Excellent. He's going to then shoot at the piranha. He gets D6 shots, I believe. D6 shots. Yeah. 2D6 as you roll, you move less than You two. bet. So that's 11 no. shots. <laughs> Didn't even need it. That's a very, very <laughs> dead piranha. Come on! No! Well, off to a great start. Now, let's, we gotta see if any of these drones die here. And on a one, they're good. So with the three inches of where they were. So these two, I'm gonna order these two squads to fire at this piranha. On a six, here we go! Yes! Oh. <laughs> this is really we will follow through then with the, moving on to the normal shooting phase, the two sentinels will then fire into the uh, piranha. Okay, so it went right through, it does only one damage. All right, I'll take that. Because now I'm gonna follow up with the autocannons. Then use the Clorox onto the same target. All right, and sixes! Nope, he's got one wound remaining. Well, this is a bit cruel then, because I'm gonna fire <laughs> a battle cannon and lance cannon. Oh, come on! Three, oh, two! Here we go! He just dies. Do the drones die from getting out of the wrecked vehicle? Nope, they're fine. Um, so I think it's just the basilisk left. He normally does a little finishing off, and I think it's very tempting to go oh, against the drones. Yeah. Because I don't want you to get it. that. He has a d6 shot to be rolled two and picks the highest. Yeah. Because he's strength <laughs> nine. <laughs> oh! He survived! No! The drone squad oh. is gonna survive! All right, so, for, so it just goes right through and wipes him. Wipes one. Yeah. Wipes one for a Um, I really don't like the broadside. Yeah, he's scary. So I will do heavy bolters into the drone and the battle cannon into the broadside. Now tip, do the do the heavy bolters first. Yep. Because if you manage to kill him, he can't put the ruins under the drones. Let's do that. So one heavy bolter from the cannon. Three plus to wound, no rerolls. One wound, minus two. Yep, he's good. Saves it. Matthew's had a good shooting phase. He's killed both piranhas and taken out a broadside and not really exposed too much of his force. He's at eight command points to Nick's remaining seven, and he has scored eight points. Two for bring it down, three for domination, and three for direct assault. Nick's got his work cut out for himself here. Let's see how he responds. 
up to eight command points, and he needs to spread out and make Matthew shoot in circles, if you will, as he doesn't have a lot of places to hide those hammerheads. Aggression is going to be a good thing here. So six inches should put me within three. Yep. I think it's the perfect time for breaches to get out. So they're going to get out three inches, and then they're going to move six. Put them right there. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. It's going to be horrifying. It's going to be beautiful. It's horrifying. Shotguns to the face. I am going to try to advance these guys okay. to take this objective. Taking some chances with advance rolls here, but even if he doesn't reach those objectives, he's still going to get engaged in all fronts out of it. He needs to be careful here though. Matthew has a lot of guns, and should he leave him with too many of those guns, it could really cost Nick. And I think the drones in the, um, the Devilfish are also going to disembark. He's gonna plot up. Okay. <sighs> Aiming trail cannons. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> that looks so awesome. And now I got shots all those tanks. Those tanks are going down. Come on, Adelfish, advance. What the Devilfish is gonna do is gonna land right here. Mm -hmm. Here's seven. We got heavy weapons though, so they'll be minus one hit. Mm -hmm. You know what? This might be a smart move here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I fly over to here. <sighs> He's gonna fly over here. So that he has the objective. Mm -hmm. You can't shoot him, mm -hmm. and he can shoot you. <laughs> and he can also take wounds onto drones if needed. Commander's gonna advance, and he advanced six inches. Oh, he can go wherever he wants. <sighs> All right, are you ready for railgun time? I'm always ready for railgun time. Everyone's Especially always ready for railgun time! And let's start with some marker lights. Yay! Our resident railgun enthusiast has remembered his marker lights. We've got four drones mm -hmm. hitting on fours. I want to roll them one at a time, because if any of them hits, then the rest gets to roll ones. It's really dumb, but that's how it works. Yeah, so, first one hits on a four. Got it. And the rest got two. So I got two marker lights, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to burn a command point right now. He's spending two command points on uplink marker light and aerial targeting, but he's negated the penalty to hit on that tank commander with five marker lights. It's just lit up with laser beams. He's lit up with laser beams. <laughs> if I kill one thing, it'll be that. <laughs> well, we will bring it down. I'm going to start with the Relic Railgun right here, mm -hmm. and he's going to fire right into that commander. He's also going to fire his Seeker missiles straight into that commander. Hitting on twos, rerolling ones because of all the marker lights. Two wounds at minus two. Yep. One went through, D6 damage, five damage. Great start, Ouch. great start. Hitting on twos, we're rolling ones. Both hit, threes. Yep, sixes. Oh, good. D6 damage. Oof, only one damage. Rerolling with a command point into a three. That's better than a one, but it leaves Nick with five command points. Okay, so three more wounds three. to him. Pathfinders here, mm -hmm. are gonna fire two marker lights into this squad here. They can just see on the edge here. Mm -hmm. They're also gonna fire one rail gun, their rifle here. And they'll have one mark lead fire here, and one rail gun, rail rifle fire here. That moved. Uh, strike six. Nope. D3 damage. Ouch. Marker light into these guys back here, hitting on a five. Hits, do the rail rifle into them. Just one shot, because I'm out of rapid fire range. That is a hit. One guy got vaporized. <laughs> I am going to fire with this tank next. He's gonna fire his Seeker missiles, mm -hmm. both of them at him. Yes. Make sure I kill him. Yes. Then I'm gonna split fire. And yes. I know JT's saying, don't do that. You're right, Nick. Don't split fire. Firmly counting on that thing being dead at the next tank in line right here. Okay. Seeker missiles, hitting on twos, roaring ones. Hit them both. Wounds once. You better not say this. Did he flip the plus? <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> I shouldn't have split JT, fire. I told you. Okay, railgun into the next one. Hits on a hits on a two. On a four. Yeah. Okay, next railgun. I'm gonna do. I know it sounds stupid, but I'm gonna do the same thing. Don't split fire, Nick. Two secret missiles into him. You're just not learning. Are I you? know I'm not, not learning, learning, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And one railgun into the back tank. Two secret missiles. Strength eight. That's it. Wounds once. Don't make another four up. Four up. No. Good. 
Matthews re-rolling a save to take him down to six command points, and he makes it! Yes. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm teaching you a lesson. You are teaching me a lesson. <laughs> All right, and then the rail got into the back tank, and it misses. Uh. Oh, but I re-roll one to hit. That's a hit. There we go. That's a wound. That goes right through him. All right, D6 damage. Four damage. That's what you want? And then, oh, sorry, I've got also got the um, smart missile systems that were both targeting the um, these, uh, these guys right. here. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. Uh, two wounds at no minus. One. Oh, he goes. Got one. And then the other one does this. I know I probably didn't learn, but I'm going to do it again. Split firing here again. Secret missile into the tank, Commander. And the mag rail rifle into the other tank. Secret missile. So I failed to hit. Yeah. So I shouldn't have split fired, is what you're saying. Uh, hits once. Does not wound. Huh. Okay, let's see how my breachers can do, and then maybe this commander with his missile pods can take out those, those things. Uh, yep. Okay, so it's 10 guys, two shots each, 20 shots. The breachers are opening up, and Matthew is spending a command point to take cover here to effectively get a one up save on those Bulgren. That's great against high AP shooting for sure. It drops him to five command points, and Nick only kills one Bulgren. The commander is looking to finish them off with his Meltas, and he doesn't. He leaves one lone Bulgren holding line. Their fire words are gonna fire straight into these guys right here. Hitting on fours, threes, three wounds, no minus. One. <laughs> That's good. That's what you get for leading from the I know. front. Next, Devilfish into infantry. One die. Killed one, and then the drones will do the same thing. They advance, so they're minus one to hit. So they're gonna hit on what? sixes. I actually got three hits. And I got two wounds at no minus. Yep, they're fine. Okay, okay. Uh, so the, the commander is gonna fire everything he can in hopes of killing them. All right, so he's only hitting on threes because you've popped smoke and he advanced. Despite the marker lights, so twos do not hit. Fives. I got two. It does D3. How many wounds do you have? Two left. So I've got to get him right here. Yeah. All right, here we this go. This is what you got to do. Here we go. go. Bring it down. Here we go. No. Come on! No! Yes! Come on! God, a one? Really? You know, I can't help but thinking all those split shots have really cost Nick. He has failed to kill a vehicle and score any bring it down points. What do we say, Nick, about splitting fire? Nick's objective secured, takes that center away from Matthew for three on direct assault, and he scored two for engaging all fronts. Both players have five command points remaining with a score of eight to five in favor of Matthew at the end of one. Up to six command points for Matthew, uh, 10 on primary, and he is revealing the relic of Lost Cadia to reroll hits and wounds of one. That should help mitigate some flat dice should they occur. Spinning a command point here on Relentless on his tank to make his tank commander ignore the wounds that Nick's done to him and act at top bracket. This should really put some hurt out. It's gonna take him down to five. Matthew needs to move a bit more than he wants to here due to Nick spreading out. He, he'd much rather just castle up and just pound those Tau into fish paste, I'm sure. Okay, Nick, it's not fish paste. Maybe it's sheep paste, maybe it's hoof paste. I don't know, but he's gonna pound them into paste no matter what flavor it might be. Now the reinforcements, I'm gonna bring in my only deep striking reinforcements. Clearing away that drone with the Melt of Scions is a necessary call here, and it's gonna keep Nick from trying to steal that objective. Before you get into shooting phase, I'm gonna use two command points right now. Okay. Time for Nick's favorite stratagem, NeuroWeb System Jammer. For two command points, he's gonna make that tank commander minus one to hit. That takes him down to three remaining. Fire away. Okay. Bring it. Flashlights. They count as the DFQ is having. Three ups. I'm a space marine. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You're a space marine, Steve. <laughs> So. I'm a space marine, Steve. Uh, how did I roll four fails there? All right, what else you got? First rank fire, second rank fire. Oh, no. Into the last guy. <laughs> You're gonna kill the last guy. <laughs> sure. Force. Oh. Nope. 
Oh, almost. almost. All right, well, you got the squad. Good job. All right, perfect. Spending a command point on an extra order for Pound him to Dust, and that's going to let that second tank really bring some pain on Long Strike. Bye, Long Strike. So, moving on to normal shooting phase, the tank commander at Barrier to Hill. Yep. Hail of fire from the wounded tank to maximize the shots to 12. Count them 12. Takes Matthew to two command points, but he is bringing the pain. I'm gonna overcharge. It's, 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 the whole reason we're here is to be, have a big explosion. Really? So I'm gonna take one on a drone. Okay. So on a two up, it goes to a drone. One of the drones bites it. <laughs> ah! And then the other two, he's gonna try to save it on a five. Okay. Saves one, takes one. Uh, these are the three heavy bolters. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to lose all my marker drones. Marker drones, broadside. I'm gonna do two under drones. Okay. Uh, two up. Yep. So two marker drones die. Mm -hmm. On three up. Oh, good thing I did that. He's got two wounds remaining. Oh, you got another tank. Another tank at the back. <laughs> With the last cannon, everything into him as well. Oh, come on. He's stronger than mine. Yep. It's the wound. I'm not gonna bother putting that in the drone because I'll okay. just kill the drone. Okay. Let's see if he can miraculously save himself at minus two, you said? Minus two. All right. No, he is dead. Down goes the broadside. Nick's losing a lot of models here. I realized I had more guns aimed at this guy than I realized. So we'll just do the melters first and if they completely work, to do. Trees to hit. Yeah, just ices him. My dead pile's feeling mighty heavy. Uh, the front wheel can see of the Torox. Okay. You can see the fire warriors sure. in the corner. Sure. Um, both. Alright, we're going to fire everything, including these uh, kill, 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 missiles. kill missiles from the Armored Sentinel. <laughs> I'll take that! <laughs> <laughs> so the two supercharged plasmas, 2d3. Three hits, and the other one, trees to wounds. So three, four, on sixes. So taken two, four, six damage of 12. Um, not much left to shoot, except the Basilisk. So they're both the same. Yep. Yeah. So I will do the ones out of sight. Okay. And one hit. Strength. Only one hit? Strength nine. They're in good cover. Four, five, on a six. Ooh, the Basilisk fails to kill those deep fire warriors. That could cause issues in later turns. Charge phase. Charge phase. All right, who do you want to charge? You got a, lot, a few options. He's going to charge first. Okay. There's three units there. There's a unit of drones, okay. a unit of five breachers, and a unit of five breachers. Okay. The breaches and the drones. Not the, not the far ones. Not the far okay. ones. Okay. So he's going to charge into my breachers, and he's going to get a bunch of shotguns to the face. <laughs> so I'm going to fire Overwatch. Instead of firing one of the guys, instead of firing a shotgun, is going to fire a grenade. So uh, a blind grenade. Mm -hmm. I get d6 shots. Get three shots. I got oh. six. So you are minus one hit. Very blind. The rest of them will fire. Hitting on sixes. One. You know what? And then I get to do that again. Give me more sixes. Come on. Oh yeah. He's blind and dead. Uh, two more wounds, and I get to reroll ones to wound. Three wounds. Shotguns to the face. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom! Charging Tau, that Bulgrin is toast. Here comes the Guardsman, though. Okay, so the drones will fire in support of the back and front units. I got one wounded. Five plus. That's what we wanted. Why couldn't you do that? I'm gonna do take one of the guns away and do the blind grenade again. D6 shots. I got a six! You're minus one to hit. And the rest of the shotguns. One wound at minus two. So I ice a Guardsman. And now roll your charge. This guy is going to charge of the drones. 12. Yeah, get in there. Four of them into the rear squad and three units into the front squad. Yep. Yep, five wood. No. One wound. One wound. Four up. He's good. At the front, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks. One dies. One. Now the priest. Now the priest. Yep. If I can survive this, I can actually take that objective. Matthew charging the infantry into the Tau is actually an unfortunate mistake. It's going to cost him three points. 
because the pile-in and consolidate has allowed Nick to make it onto that center objective. You gotta love this modular terrain in the Frontline ITC series. It makes it easy to remove the building from the base to really show what's going on underneath. Matthew's only gonna score two for Bring It Down, in addition to his 10 primary to go to a score of 20 at the end of his turn two. Four command points for Nick now, and he's got some reserves to arrive and some work to do. Not a ton of movement, really just lining up shots, but in come Nick's reserves, and he is the victim of superior intelligence. The Tempesta Scions are shooting that incoming hazard suit, and they get him! Killing with shooting on your opponent's turn? So good! Yeah, I, 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 I forgot that he could do that. <laughs> well, stupid, stupid melt of guys. That's what happens when you try to engage in all fronts, Nick. <laughs> These guys are taking out some tanks. Okay, that's what they're here for. So that's it in my movement phase. Uh, we go into shooting phase. Nick is spending two command points on drop zone clear here to give plus one to hit to his crisis suits. It's gonna drop him to two command points, but plus one to hit is huge, especially when you're using Meltas. I can fire the rail guns. Okay. I'm going to fire the marker lights. There's three marker lights there. Mm -hmm. And they're all gonna fire into the this tank right here that is pop smoke. Mm -hmm. Gonna roll them one at a time in case I get one. On a five, nope. On a five, yep. Two marker lights, excellent. Two real guns on that lead tank. It's in them. Devilfish is firing into the guardsman and Matthew's spending his last command point for take cover to get a plus one to his save. He needs to hold that objective. The wound does nothing. The drones are not gonna fire at you right there. The same drones right here into those guardsmen. Hitting on fives, Oop. not one wound. No, go on. Then all of these drones right here are all gonna fire into those guys. Please. Rolling ones to wound. Please. Okay, getting there, getting there. This guy right here, mm -hmm. this rail gun, he's gonna fire his big rail gun at your big tank, your big tank commander, and then he's gonna fire his uh, smart missile system at the, the guardsman. Yep. So the uh, smart missile system first, hitting on threes, threes. Ooh, that's pretty good. Two, Two more. Okay, and then the railgun into the tank commander, hitting on a three. You're you got to do it. You got to do it. Oh, okay, come fine. On. Yeah. Going on to one command point to reroll that dice in the hopes of getting a three. There yes. you go. Okay, on a four. That's a wound. If one. you get a six, I would be very disappointed in when you. When I get a six. <laughs> man, oh man, that tank commander has taken a ton of shooting and resources to take out. Demoralizing. That's what that is. That's demoralizing. That's horrible. Like what it is. This guy right here is going to fire his uh, missiles into that same commander. So on. One. Three Ooh. damage. Oh, I almost did it. Two left. One of the crisis suits here is going to fire here. Yes. The other two are gonna fire this guy. Yeah, that's that's six. <laughs> well, two, well, two wounds, he's dead. It's two wounds, I wanna double damage here. So he takes like seven damages, overkilled, and now he better explode. Expl oh, oh, come on! Okay. All right, the last last two firing into that back tank there. Yep. yep. Um, so four fusion blasters hitting on twos. Yep. And hit, wounded them all! <laughs> oh, at minus four! Does that go right through? That goes right through. Yes! Yeah. He's three plus. D6 damage with each one. No way. Yep. That's He's only got 12. Let's go! Yeah! Melted his face! He doesn't have a face. Melted his turret! It's another tank down, but this is starting to look grim, but that's what these crisis suits do. Matthew still has a lot out of Nick's reach as well, and he can still punch back really hard. Now we're gonna go to the commander right here. Yep. Commander right here is going to fire his three fusion blasters into this tank right here. Strength eight, minus four. Oh, four three. Three, yeah. All right. It does two damage. <laughs> I think I can kill him in close combat if I can make it into close combat. 
Okay, well, Ooh. I don't have any other targets with him. Actually, I do. <laughs> Actually, I do. Why would you do that? I what? think, what have they done to you? No, so, no, no, no. Revenge. <laughs> so his weapon, instead of being a solid shot, yeah. can be a submunition that explodes. And the relic gun is even stronger. So he's gonna fire the submunition and take vengeance upon those guys. I had fun with him. I had fun with him. Boom! Yeah, that's pretty good. Two. I killed two. <laughs> that was a very poor use of that weapon. Like a very poor use of that weapon. Everything is fired except the pistol. The pistols, yes. And the one unit of five is actually gonna use a CP right here. The last command point for Nick using point blank volley and that's cleared the center of the board. Ah, I take the objective. Okay, shooting phase is all done. Mm -hmm. Moving on to charge phase. I do have a charge. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna charge the commander into these last two units. Okay, good turn. Okay, so let's do this combat over here, and that'll be that'll be the turn. Um, he gets the first one does five damage. Second one does one damage. Five damage on the leader. One damage on the. All right, that is the end of the phase. You have to take a morale test. He's gonna order a fail. Lone Guardsman runs, Six. and the Scions stay, and Nick scores four for Bring It Down and three for Direct Assault to add to his primary score of 10. That makes our score after two, 22 to 20 in favor of Nick. There's still a lot of game left though. Only five on primary here for Matthew, but he does tick up to a command point to Nick's zero. I think it's time to get out of the transports. You're ordering, ordering your from the commander. company commander yep. to the infantry squad. Got it. First rank fire, second rank fire Got to it. the rear squad. The rear squad. The Got rear it. Rear squad. You iced them all! Wow. Take so them out. First rank five, second rank five, we'll do the hot shot Laz. On fives. There's only four guys. Only four guys. Bye bye! So because of the first rank five, second rank fire, I fight back. Oh. Just one damage, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Hot shot plasma. 15 inch rapid fire for Aeos and Dragons. Rerolling ones to hit, so they will supercharge. Die, please! One. Ah, oh, yeah, oh. one guy takes himself out. Oh, no, I love when that happens. <laughs> so the first one's gonna go on him, and he's got a, he's got a four up. Yep. So he's gonna, on a four up, hopefully he saves himself. Great. So what I have the choice of is putting them on drones. That's right. Yep. And I'm hoping that I don't have to kill the drones. I, I, like, that's what I want to not happen. I want to save one more so I only yeah. lose three drones. Nope. nope. I, he killed himself, so he's dead. Okay. Um, and then three drones. Goes onto the drones, three drones die. So there's one drone remaining. Two armored sentinels, uh, sentinel death copters, uh, firing their two plasma cannons. Two D3. One. You can still see them. All right, auto cannons into them. Fire away. Big boss. He has not. That's two sixes in a row. None of the tanks moved, and they're all near him. They're all reroll mm -hmm. ones to hit. Yep. This guy's in full view. Yep. I'm fire away. Fire away to that. Everything into it. One. Okay. Onto a drone. Yep. On a two up. Goes to the drone. Drone dies. D six damage. Now. Five up. Nope. And so the second dice the second will dice kill him. My... And then you've got one dice left. Oh! Ah, yeah, he survived! I'm gonna command point reroll. Wound. Reroll that. Spending his last command point to try to kill that crisis suit. No! He lives! What has happened to the dice? Does anyone want to win? Yeah. Split, fire, yeah. split, fire, split, <laughs> fire. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna split fire. Heavy bolter into the last. Split fire. Split fire. All right. And then the tank gets a gold relic into the last yep. crisis suit, Yarrick. Yes! Oh! The big gun yep. into the relic hammerhead. Fours, ones. Oh, this is such a close game. It's a wound. No! Oh! Wow! One, one wound minus, minus two. 
What did we learn today, folks? Don't, Don't split, split fire. fire. <laughs> All right, launching gr- There you go. Now he's gonna hit and kill him. Highest. Oh, <laughs> no! Did you reroll one? What have you done to my- I reroll one. Okay, yeah, you're good, yeah, you're yeah. good. There's still uh, two ones. Three. Oh, no. <laughs> Just one. One. So I got one. a six to try to save it. <gasps> yes. Oh, that was so close. Finally, the crisis suits are down, but that's all of Matthew's shooting. I, I'm happy. Those guys killed two tanks, <laughs> and they tanked Everything. all of your shots. Everything. He scored three for domination and three more for direct assault, but he hasn't taken down any vehicles However, he's cleared his zone, and he's given himself some breathing room. He's at 31 points to end the turn. Nick scores 10 primary and gains that all-important command point, and he's got work to do. Kao Yan will help, re-rolling everything for those hammerheads, though. Let's do some shooting. I'm gonna start with Markalites. I don't have very many. I'm gonna start with my Pathfinder unit right here. They're Markalites into this tank commander here. Cool. This is because of hit twice. So you got two Markalites, then the two rail rifles into the priest. Hitting on fours. Four up save. No, it's gone. Three D3 shot uh, damage. So one, two, three, four, and a more wound. Next. We are gonna go these drones into this this unit here. Yep. I'm actually gonna just do both drones right, right now. Hit on fives. Oh, two. These five guys here are gonna fire into your copters. One. All right, my commander up here. He's gonna fire into your basilisk. Three wounds at minus four. Minus four. Yep. Got to save there. I don't think you do. Oh, no, no. All right, three d six damage. What? Die! <laughs> Boom! So hammerhead railgun into the tank here. Try to do damage. Um, the smart missile system into these grots. Smart missile system hitting on threes. Four more. Four more. Getting there. Getting there. Oh. Getting there. Oh. That's so gonna I'm gonna fire the relic, relic railgun into the tank. Yep. That's a. That is a, a wound at minus four and D3 mortal wounds. D3 mortals, two mortals, okay. and D6 so, damage. So it's six, you need a six. Two. Damage reroll for a command point here, and it's better, but it's still not enough. It's got two wounds left. So all into the garden. Yep. D3 damage, does three. And the other two, I see the two guys. I'm gonna try charging your company commander with my two drones here. Charging into the Torox to try to end it with the commander, and the fight phase is not good. Close combat Tau don't always work out the way you want them to, Nick. It's right there, Nick. It's right there. How does right he miss? There. Nick scores two more for bring it down, three more for engage in all fronts, and three for direct assault to make our end of three score 40 to 31 in his favor. Nine points with two turns to go is nothing in 9th edition 40k. Matthew scores 10 for primary here and gains that command point. Pretty short movement phase. We will start off with these uh, armored sentinels. Oh yeah. Corner? Yeah. Hey. I lost Ooh. three. Ooh. We're gonna get all hot shot las guns mm -hmm. from this guy, first rank fire, second rank fire. They're gonna split fire the first rank fire, second rank fire in we'll shoot the drones, drones here. Yep. And the other volley guns will shoot against the commander. Commander. Uh, T4. Yep. Ah, oh, shoot. No, they're oh. not dead. <laughs> the hot shot volley guns into the commander. Uh, both go through. Yarrick will now order the plasma guns into the commander. Come on! Oh! oh. Blah. Blah. It's been doing terrible. Yeah, we roll the non relic one. Roll one. Strength nine. Wounds. A six. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Two D six shots. Fives. 
Uh, four go through. Uh, he's got 13 wounds, so you bracketed him. You get to stream me if I charge you, though, right? I do get to overwatch, that okay. is true. Let's do that, let's do that. Let's do that. You're gonna charge me? I'm charging you. Melta's three of them. Still got a CP. I really would like you to make this. I really <laughs> would like to fight it on the rooftop. Okay, you're good, okay, you saved really it. Good. All right. <laughs> the Fusion Commander and Yarrick are gonna go toe to toe. Okay, strength six, toughness. Seven is five, so on threes. threes. He's managed to put a couple wounds on the commander, and the commander strikes back. Hits you twice. Failed save, but there's that command point. Reroll, save. Yarrick will not die. End of his turn, Matthew scores three domination and three direct assault, and that's gonna put him to 47 points mid-turn. 10 primary and a command point for Nick, and he's trying to spread out to take objectives away from Matthew. Even if he can't get on and control them, he needs to make Matthew spread fire and move away from that castle. I don't have the luxury of marker lights, so we're just gonna fire. So these guys here, I'm gonna mm -hmm. fire at those guys over there. Got four. One, two, one. One, one. All right, then we'll do the relic rail gun into your copters. Hit on threes. Good ice. Come on! Why? Okay, strike 10. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand these dice. What is going on? All right, railgun into here. Uh, smart missile slow me into these guys here. Railgun into the tank. Hit on a three. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, into the hotshot guys. Wait, why do you get threes? Two die. I think you've got this game. The last turn was the critical one. I, I whiffed on everything. But anyways, yeah. let's see if I can take you off this objective. These guys into these guys. Hitting on fours. <laughs> Why? Something and it's a one! <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna charge your company commander to lock you in combat no. so that I can't get shot. Oh, I'm I know it's weird really now. <laughs> Okay, and then let's fight, because that was dumb. <laughs> Three attacks. <laughs> this Three game plus is hit. dumb! <laughs> on a four up, come on! Yeah! I'm gonna hit you back with my fusion blade. Slice you in half, let's go! On twos! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Like, I would like someone to run the statistical analysis on how many ones I rolled. Like, in a single turn. Like, it was bad. <laughs> it's Yarrick. It's Yarrick. He's got the, he's got the claw. Oh. You know what? It's because your guys are blue. Yeah. Not a great turn here for Nick. He's only managed two for engaging all fronts to end the turn with 52 points. He holds the narrowest of leads over Matthew at 52 to 47. But turn five is going to decide this game one way or another. Fifteen points on primary for Matthew here, another command point, and Yark is gonna fall back to give the tank a free shot at the commander. Well, if Yark can't do it with his claw, a tank should be able to. All right, well, I'm just gonna be kind of ruthless about it because it's the last turn. Yep, yeah, you be, oh, you be yeah, ruthless. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna embark in this transport. It will drive on top of the objective. Gonna do two second fire, second round fire. The arc. Five. Boy. Hmm. Hey, I take one. That's good. Okay, I'll take that. To hit. Shield generator. Two. So he's taking four of six. He's got two wounds left. He can do this. Uh, that's it. For orders phase. Now normal shooting phase. So we'll, do, we'll go straight to the tank. Get two d six shots. I can do it. No. Eleven. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. The, the, the wreck one? one? Yep, makes sense. On fives. Matthew's down another hammerhead here, and that's two points for bring it down. He is racking them up. Just then. Yeah, I want to shoot them. Yep. Supercharging. Are they going to die? One dies. Does it? Yes. Nice. Two wounds. Any minus on that? Uh, minus two. Oh, I save one. And combat. Yeah, well, I guess technically I get to go first, so I guess yep. the Pathfinder's will. Uh, oh. Wow! Whoa. I hit you three times! 
Nope, they don't wound you once. <laughs> That's a great turn, but is it enough? Two for bring it down, three for domination, three for direct assault, and he ends the game with 70 points. Is it enough? Nick gets a command point and scores at the end of turn here, so they're just figuring out what he needs to do. All I have to do is fall back. Oh, oh no. And I hold that objective. I don't know why you put those guys in that transport. Oh no. Nick's got a hammerhead to shoot for bring it down to score more points there, and he can score engage on all fronts, but I think that they're just figuring out that by Matthew getting back into that transport, he gives up the center objective, and it's actually cost him the game. He gives up three to Nick for direct assault, and then Nick scores five points on primary right there, and that's actually gonna lose the game for Matthew by three points. Oh no! 83 to 80 in favor of Nick. What an amazing game. Back and forth, nail biter right to the end. One tiny mistake and it's cost Matthew the win. How unfortunate, but it's a bit of karmic retribution for Nick as the same thing happened to him in our Sky Battle episode. One wrong move cost him the game. Big thank you to Frontline Gaming for sponsoring this episode. We love their terrain and mats, and this orc terrain is absolutely wonderful and really added to the immersion in this story. Check them out at FrontlineGaming.org. We'd also like to thank Matthew for bringing an amazing army and a fantastic attitude, and Nick for bringing the boundless enthusiasm that he's known for, and to both gentlemen, well played. What a match. That's it for us here, folks. On behalf of all of us at Play On, this is JT McDowell saying, until the next time you see us in the grim dark universe of the far flung future, play on! Okay. Can't believe I got in the transport, Nick. Why did he get in the transport? I don't understand it! Why did I get in the transport? What edition are we playing? Ninth edition, objective secured. I should have won this game! <laughs> I really should have lost this. I don't feel like I deserve the win. <laughs> okay, well, I feel bad, but at least I got the shirt.